it's Shay Curry here, and welcome back to another video. Welcome back, y'all, to another Fit Friday vlog and the first week of booking, which I am excited, but I'm also anxious about and just kind of curious to see how this is gonna go because in last week's vlog, I told y'all I had never intentionally bulked to where I'm eating more than you know my body requires for it to maintain or lose its weight. Which I also told y'all in last week's vlog as well that I was going to be getting my new max reps just because I am also wanting to see how much have I gone up in my weight um, just so I can know, you know, what my goal is going to be as far as you know weight is concerned and what I'm lifting for the month of December. So just really wanting to make sure I am on track, I'm pushing myself and I'm actually improving. And I know y'all, my mouth may look a little crazy right now. I had a dentist appointment. I had to get a filling, I got a cleaning. Y'all, I had no idea my mouth was gonna be like numb for this long. So bear with that, you know, in case y'all were wondering. Still debating if I'm gonna get braces or Invisalign. Is that something that been thinking about, but side note, that's not what we're here for. What I wanna show y'all is the goodies that I ordered from Amazon, and y'all saw on last week's vlog. Well, they finally have arrived, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. This is the barbell pad, y'all, which I am excited about. It does give you the two Velcro, Velcro straps to where you can, you know, wrap it around the bar and then really secure it and lock it in place. So perfect, perfect, perfect for what I need. Now it did get a little squished, so not too happy about that, but nothing that's, you know, crazy that I just can't deal with. And I told y'all, I love this like little groove that it has in there. I don't know, it just feels really comfortable when I'm doing squats and like hip thrusts. And then this is the lifting belt, which I have never, owned one of these. This is how that looks. Very sturdy, like nice quality. This is a four inch lifting belt. So yes, y'all, we got the goodies. I think this one was like $19. I probably could have got a cheaper one, but hey, it is what it is, you know, just kind of keep that in mind.
let's talk about it. So, went up, as y'all saw, in my squats by 10 pounds. Previously, I could only do 80 pounds on each side. This time, I did 90 pounds on each side. So, went up by 10 pounds, uh, or by 20 pounds, actually. For hip thrust, I did not realize I could lift that much weight, which I never got my hip thrust max before, um, but I'm pretty sure it was not 285. Now, for my deadlifts, I actually end up staying the same, y'all. I did not go up at all in deadlifts, which makes sense because, believe it or not, I have not been doing deadlifts like that. Um, when I do deadlifts, I usually just lift like the little short barbell for maybe like 50 or 60 pounds, but I haven't really been like really working to get my deadlift weight up. I've mainly been doing a lot of squats, a lot of hip thrusts, which explains why I went up in those areas. So if anything though, that lets me know that I need to start incorporating deadlifts into my workout routines like adamantly and not just like, you know, adding them in there and doing, you know, lightweight, but really focus more so on upping my weight, really getting stronger in that area. So that proves that if you work consistently at an exercise and constantly make sure you're increasing your weight, you will improve in that area, which is the case for my squats and my hip thrusts because I've been literally adding those into every leg day workout. So definitely happy about that. At least that gives me an idea now as to what my maxes are in those area. Of course, I do need to get my maxes in my upper body exercises, like bench press and things like that, but we working on that. Let me just say, y'all, this lifting bell right here, I definitely felt the difference when I was lifting. I think I literally want to wear this throughout the whole workout because my back just felt so supported when I was, you know, doing my deadlifts, doing my squats. I felt like it was really helping my form to where my back wasn't like, you know, slumping over or getting that curvature in there. It was just really keeping everything straight and tight. I'm really happy I got this little thing. So thank y'all to everyone that left comments on the previous video. Let me know about the lifting belts, the lifting straps, what y'all recommend. I honestly wanna see if I can find another one that's maybe a little thicker. I don't know if this four inch is like the standard size of the lifting belts, but I just want one like maybe six inches or so, you know? This came in clutch today for your girl, okay? When I was doing my squats, y'all, it just sat so comfortably on my shoulders. And y'all see that little groove just sits perfectly on my neck. So it just felt really comfortable during all those lifts. Even though I was lifting a lot of weight, it didn't, I mean, it felt like it, but I wasn't in pain, you know? So definitely definitely love my amazon purchases the other thing is that y'all know i'm currently doing a book so originally i said i was gonna do it for two weeks y'all how this first week has gone i'm like you know what should i just do this for one week because i'm eating a lot of food <laughs> and i'm not used to it right now i mentioned in um wednesday's video which by the time y'all watching this i already posted a video on wednesday kind of like a what i eat in a, eat in a day showing y'all you know really what i'm eating throughout this bowl i mentioned in that video my calories right now are sitting at right about 2600 calories y'all that is a lot for me like a lot <laughs> i've never ever 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 <sighs> intentionally eaten almost like 3000 calories which it's a lot. So naturally, I'm like second guessing in my head, like, am I doing the right thing? But I just want to see what will happen. You know, obviously, I'm not the leanest um, that I can be right now, but I don't care. <laughs> I honestly just want to see what will happen. Like, how will my body respond to me eating this amount of calories? Granted, my goal with doing this is to really more so focus on building as much muscle as possible without putting on a lot of fat, you know? So we just testing it out, y'all, to be honest with you. And um, we gonna learn from it and it'll teach me more about my body in the process and just give me more knowledge as far as helping y'all as well. Trial and error, that's like, that's the motto over here, okay? Trial and error, 
all about balance when it comes to the food. So I hope y'all enjoy this little vlog, you know, uh, seeing how your girl is lifting, how your girl is getting stronger over here, y'all. One step at a time, you know, it's a process, it's a journey. It's not gonna, you know, happen overnight. The gains aren't gonna come overnight. You gotta put in the work for it if you really want them. And I do really want them. So I love y'all as always, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Beautiful, all your flaws. Perfect, you should let them show the things I love the most. I don't know what you see, but I see all of you.